WrestleMania or now in WrestleMania is is um Survivors or, or Elimination Chamber. Elimination I'm Chamber. okay with that. We don't need yeah. a fucking fast lane at the end. No, we don't. But I'm just saying, Super Showdown's it. probably not going to be in the A category. <laughs> no. Uh, we got AEW Revolution coming up, which anything could happen. AEW hasn't let us down yet. I'm at excited least on to see Goldberg get eaten by the Fiend, though. That's going to be fun. Elimination Chamber, probably not in the A category, rarely. With Hulk Hogan as special guest referee. Uh, Ring of Honor, 18th anniversary show is coming up. That's up in the, the cards. We don't know. Impact Lockdown, up in the cards. We don't know. There's so much we don't know, even just from now until WrestleMania. New Japan, Sakura Genesis. It's New Japan. It's probably going to be really good, but it's definitely, they've already set the bar so high. What's going to happen? We don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting. No, got a lot to, to, see to take over happens. Portland's credit, it, not very many American wrestling pay-per-views or TV shows get me this giddy. So it's right. definitely deserving of the A grade. <laughs> well, talking about American TV shows that get us giddy pasty, we have to start with the Savage Sentinel. That is right, Fat Mac. It's everybody's favorite time of the week where we freak your mind with all the news. Freak out, freak out, freak out, and one of Pasty's and Fat Mac's favorite shows of America, Pasty, and might see a new face. You want to tell them about it? Yes, I do, Fat Mac. News is, Sasha Banks will be appearing in the next season of the Disney Plus show, The Mandalorian. News of her appearance was initially reported by the Matt Men Pro Wrestling Podcast, a very credible resource. Matt Men! Matt Men! We should make Matt Men Pro Wrestling Podcast and compete with them. I think we could. (laughs) With Pro Wrestling Sheet later confirming the casting news at the time of this recording, there is no further information as to who she might be playing or what kind of role she has, but apparently the boss has already filmed scenes for the Star Wars series. Holy shit. I don't know if this is good because she's not a very good talker in the ring. And so if you give her a script, I don't know. Maybe she's well, a know, droid. Is, if she beeps and boops, that'll be fine. This is one of those series where they've had a lot of guest stars, but they're all under helmets and yeah, probably not even literally there. They probably mm-hmm. just came into the booth and recorded something. So... I, I, think I think they're going to get great. her face on I there. Think I think she's going to be a humanoid, and they're going to have her. It, WWE's got to have that in the contract. You know what I mean? I I don't know. I guess I it, don't know, but say. it's interesting. I don't think I think she'll be one of those one-off episode characters. That let's just say that this is the beginning of of one of those mergers of two huge companies. Like this is two gargantuan companies working together, and that's scary. But I'm excited for it because I love Sasha Banks and I love The Mandalorian. Yeah, it was so. like less than two years ago, Stephanie McMahon was talking about how Disney could buy WWE and. No, it was her saying that she could be that they could be as big as Disney. Was that what it was? That's what she said. Which there was is also speculation that they were going to sell to Disney or whatever. But yeah, there's been talks of that. But Ste- Stephanie said that they could be as big as Disney, and that's fucking laughable. As huge as WWE has been. Come on. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. Come on. No. Have you ever been to Disneyland? Not that many people are watching wrestling. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, But somebody who doesn't strive to be as big as Disney, they know where they are. That's the A&E Network. And Pasty, they are partnering with WWE Studios to produce five original two-hour documentaries under the award-winning Biography Banner which will showcase some of the most iconic WWE superstars of all time. Now, this will include Macho Man Randy Savage, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I Don't Deserve a Nickname Booker T. (laughs) Because all of them guys have nicknames except for Booker T. That's sad. What's the T stand for? (laughs) T. Um... What, what what do they say? Uh, show me your tea. Give me your tea. Brew me your tea. I, I, uh, I give me the know. tea. Uh, it's something my my boy was saying it to me. It's a new thing they say. We used to say fucking like show me your shit or something. And now they're just like, pour me your tea, bitch. I, I'm still on. Show me what you got. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, through, through these in depth docs helmed by some of the industry's top directors and storytellers. 
Biography continues its focus on the larger-than-life personalities as well as their impact on our culture. Through new and archival interviews and never-before-seen footage, each feature-length film will give fans an in-depth look at the early lives, rise to fame, and careers of some of the most influential wrestlers in WWE history. I'm stoked for this. I love the biography yes. um, showcases that a and does. And this I'm is going to be I'm most excited awesome. for Macho Man and Roddy. I, I'm most excited for Booker T. He's probably the, the least big out of them, but he's got such a story. If anybody's ever uh, listened to his story, watched You'll his story. You'll probably learn I the mean, most he, from his yeah, he got, you know, the the fact that he uh he lost his family at a super young age. He ended up doing prison time. He, you know, his brother Stevie Ray got him into wrestling and it's like the you know, they started out as the Ebony Express down in a GWF and Global Wrestling Federation. Just so many there's a, he's got a hell of a story. Probably more of a story than uh, any of the the ones on here. I'd say maybe out of the huge superstars in pro wrestling, Scott Hall might be the only one who has more of a story, but he killed a guy. <laughs> Let's just say it. Scott Hall killed a guy. Uh, well, to give Booker T more credit, I, I actually was just thinking today, I want to add a couple more buttons to the reel. I don't want to add, um, uh, uh, tell me he didn't just say that. Oh. I think that's a good one. And I want Devon's, oh, my brother, testify. Are you going to put Vince McMahon's, what's up? Um, no. I forget how the rest of it goes. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'd check. Uh, uh, no. How about Booker T's, Hulk Hogan, we coming for you. I, I forget what the rest of it is. What was the rest of it? I think Hulk Hogan said it before. I think he <laughs> I think he was just finishing Booker T's sentence. He was just shooting the pro. He wasn't mad at the guy. He was just talking about the promo and how much he respected Booker T's promo. That's what the deal was. He gets a bad rap, that poor Uh, Hulk Hogan. Him and his Fu Manchu, they get a bad rap. (coughs) He was really telling them how, how proud he would be if his daughter wound up with a man like Booker T. Exactly, because they're coming for you, um... <clears throat> Damn! You know, you know. I, I think we need to move on from the cable stations because cable is full of dirty, nasty, bad words. Yeah. Let's talk about some uh, streaming sites, Pasty, because those are oh my gosh, those are oh my gosh, Pasty. <laughs> They're so oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Are you ready to smash universes together for the second time in the show? Yes! Let's fucking do it. And on my large hadron collider, that's what I call my penis, folks. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports that WWE is in talks with ESPN in regards to WWE content airing on the ESPN Plus service. The deal is that WWE is trying to broker would be similar to the deal UFC has with ESPN where WWE would sell their rights to air pay-per-views, which would pay more money for the content than WWE could make on its own by selling the content directly to viewers with the WWE Network. The ESPN Plus model with UFC is reportedly what opened WWE's eyes to the idea. The ESPN deal could potentially bring more mainstream exposure to WWE's big events because ESPN has proved that when they don't own rights to a product, they use their various shows to heavily market that product. There's no word yet uh, on how far talks with ESPN are, but the Observer noted that it looks like the deal has not been agreed on as of this week. Investors clearly like the idea of WWE getting involved with ESPN After news broke talks between the two juggernauts, WWE's stock price rose over $2.49. Boy, I'm glad I bought mine two weeks ago and sits now at $50.23 today. Woo, I wish I had bought bought mine. And ESPN, in a sense, is kind of owned by Disney too, isn't it? Because it's all with that package for Hulu and Disney Plus and ESPN Plus for $14 a month. Um... I, I have to, I will look up and see what the parent companies are 
Yeah, that's I, I don't just, know. That's something that struck me because I it's it's all bundled together with that Hulu Disney Plus deal. And so maybe either that or ESPN has stock in who or has good percentage of take in Hulu. But one way or another, they're connected. ESPN is an American cable sports channel owned by ESPN Inc. Owned jointly by the Walt Disney Company and Hearst Communications. <laughs> the Walt Disney owns 50% of ESPN. And uh, so, yeah, that's one So Disney's going to own like 25% there. of WWE. <laughs> well, just their their pay per view. Well, technically, they're going to be paying WWE. To, Actually, it to would be more of a third though, too, stuff. because you got your your USA, you got your Fox, and then you got. Well, Disney. no, because this, but then this again, is its Fox, own deal. Disney owns Fox. No, this this is its own deal. <laughs> and ESPN or Disney does not own. Um, Disney does not own the. the they Fox own the Mandalorian, Network. and because Becky Lynch is going to be on the Mandalorian, that's <laughs> automatically fifteen percent stock in WWE. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's that's where my math comes from. Steiner, um, any, Steiner taught me that we love Steiner math. Yes. We love Steiner math. <laughs> Basically, this is awesome for WWE though, because this could be huge if this does happen. Like you said, this does open them up to an entirely new, and not only an entirely new world. In some people's minds, this will legitimize them more. Yeah. Obviously, you and I realize that's stupid. <laughs> Because um, because it is stupid. They're, they're either Get legitimate ready. in what they do or they don't. But Come in 2025, the WWE Universe at Disneyland Tokyo. I mean, don't re- don't forget that uh, WCW Nitro used to be taped at Disney MGM Studios. Yeah. For, for uh, months, if not over a year. Well, they had to do something with that fucking waste of a theme park. You're damn right. <laughs> So th- this is awesome. This is very good for both ESPN and WWE. And dare I say it could help uh, UFC by getting more eyes on ESPN Plus and having more people who are into wrestling mm-hmm. have a chance to watch UFC at no extra cost. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's a if big deal. Yeah, if they're going to buy ESPN Plus to watch WWE that's and they see more and UFC more is on there. Exactly. So that's... It's it's unique. It's a very unique position for all three of these companies to be in. Something that uh something that's been around forever. Uh, wrestling and ESPN have have been together not only from the AWA days. Uh, GWF I talked about earlier used to air on ESPN. Mm-hmm. WWE for a short time did ESPN. It, they've they've got a history in pro wrestling, and um, NWA used to air on ESPN. It's it, it's good. It's good for all parties involved. Obviously, as you said, nothing's finalized, and maybe nothing will happen from it. But I don't see a negative at all. I think the money is is what it's going to come down to. How much is ESPN willing to pay? How much is WWE demanding? That that is where it's going to come down to. I think more than anything. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I, I'm I'm really intrigued to see where this goes, and and things are veering in a strangely Disney direction, which I just it sounds like the future, doesn't it? WWE and Disney formed together in some evil robot. I mean, robots exist. They do. You know, it's like Trapper so, Keeper. From so you have that. So, Pasty, we have talked about uh, Disney Plus. We have talked about A and E. We have talked about ESPN Plus. Let's let's cross the lines. We got a lot of uh, we've got a lot of distribution to talk about today. Uh, an amazing amount of distribution to talk about. But we're crossing the pond, as they say, into Sky Deutschland. Which, for those of you who are American and don't give a shit about the rest of the world, that's Germany. Yeah, it was, that's a it's a really funny way to spell Germany. Um, only if you're American, if you're from any other country, it's about the right way to I think every other country would say it's weird to call it Germany when I it's think Deutschland. It's, it's, it's great that America is like the only ones that call it Germany. I like to think that America comes up with really, the presidents come up with, Donald Trump comes up with really funny names for all the countries in the world. That's, that's what that's I want to see. I want to see Trump's <laughs> list of country names all written on a map with a fucking Sharpie. Right. This was sent um, to me from NASA. 
Space Force. We're here. We're here to talk about the going ons in Bananarama. 